It's silent on the midnight moors. And I am Silent Yorkie. Bringing you all things so to fuge, secrets hidden dark. Beginning with Hacker Simulator. Let's see what the game has to offer, shall we? Let's see the journey of a hacker. Looks like we're in our room here. With our computer in the distance there. Uh, oh. ah. The computer will be your main tool during the hacker journey. You can interact with it by pressing F. Override. How long have you been sleeping? I've been trying to call you for at least two hours. Anyway, let's get to work. All right. The first thing you're going to need is a new Wi-Fi network. And to get one, you will need to crack one. Okay. I will call you back when you're done. Open the browsing software. And you can use software from the shortcut bar on the left side. Tour. Explore privately. Visit the Backstore website. All the tools that you will need will be on the Backstore website. Make sure to visit it regularly. Very well. Buy the following Aerodump, Airplay, and Aircrack. Scan Wi Fi networks in range. We have a scanner. Attack a Wi Fi network to capture its handshake key. And crack handshake keys. Three tools are required in order to crack a Wi Fi network Aerodump, a list nearby Wi Fi networks details such as BSSID. Air Airplay, uh, send de authentication packets to capture the handshake key. Aircrack. Crack land shake key to obtain the password. Staying connected to the same Wi-Fi network for too long will result in a police arrest, leading to a loss of reputation. You can check next to the Wi-Fi icon in the detection level of the Wi-Fi network you are connected to. Note this detection will only be active at reputation level 2. Note that Wi-Fi networks of higher security will allow you to stay connected for a longer time. Open the terminal software. Hence, you can open multiple terminal instances at once. All right. By terminal, they're referring, of course, to the C prompt or the equivalent. Most of your work will be done on the uh, using tools. To use those tools, they need to be on your computer, and you will be able to use them in the terminal. Some commands require parameters in order to work correctly. Use Usage, Airplay, BSSID. You can write the command name followed by the parameter without the brackets. Result, Airplay 12, 34, 56, 78, 9A, BC. Aerodump tool. Uh, launch an attack on the Wi-Fi network by using the airplay tool. All right, so it's airplay and then the thing. Uh, let's go for the top one, I guess. If I can type. C9, 4C, 9B, 6, 7. Eight zero and eight. Uh, mistyped. C nine four C nine B six seven eight zero three eight. It must be case sensitive. C nine four C. 
going to be 6780. Well, not 67, it's actually a hex code. 8. Uh, okay. Airplay or capital C9 or or B one foot. It's it. A connector. Oh, that's mine. Oh, okay. Low case case of command eleven B one Oh, I'm off capitals. B one seven four A Wait for the airplay tool to capture the handshake. Handshake files are used to crack Wi-Fi network passwords. A handshake is a connection between two computers and the validation of a code between them. And here we're sending random codes to make this work. Success! All right, so air crack. Eleven. C one. Seven four. Seven C. A eight. E zero dot. And shape. If I can type. Wait for the air crack to crack the handshake key. Found. Connect to the Wi-Fi network using the cracked password. The cracked password is in the air crack result. Next to the key found. Ah, so it's... CZBTPP8 Relatively secure password Click on the Wi-Fi icon Bye uh, I'll connect, okay Ah, yes, of course Well, that's a little garbage because uh, let me move that out of the way. Torrent Gump is the one we're going for, and it is you can't see if I'm up the case or not. Let me just try here. First, I'm lowercase. All right, and it is uppercase Z, lowercase Z, uppercase B, lowercase T P P, number eight. Incoming call. I almost remember what it feels like to hack your first neighbor. Now that you're connected to a new Wi-Fi network, your traces are gone. Keep in mind that regularly switching Wi-Fi networks will be very important through your hacker journey. The longer you stay connected to a Wi-Fi network, the bigger the chances are for you to get arrested by the police. Note that the Wi-Fi network will kind of forget you when disconnecting from it. I have a first contract in mind for you, 
so go buy yourself some tools on the Backstore website. Buy the map tool. In this world, your super RGB computer will not be enough. That's why I bought you a server. Yeah, that's right. Your own server. All right. Each contract can be different. So you'll need to make some space on your computer before you do anything. For now, go transfer to your server the tools that you bought during our previous call. Okay. Hopefully, some Zilla software. Your compute storage space is limited. You can use Servzilla at any time to transfer files to your personal server. Okay. Transfer files to uh, use following tools Aerodom, Airplay, Aircrack. Uh, tool folder, okay. That's no longer letting me select one at a time, All right? I crack. I play. Now that you're geared up, it's time to honor your first contract. I just sent you on Discord the IP address of the network that you're going to hack, followed by the name of the file that you need to steal for me. When you're done, just send me the file on Discord. All right. Open the Discord software. All communication is done through Discord. You can consult the requests of the customers and validate the contracts in progress. Open Overrides Conversation. In order to be able to infiltrate a network, you will need to know the vulnerabilities. To do that, you can use the Nmap tools. On the IP address of the network that you want to scan. All right. And map IP address. Yes. And map. AD. Dot. One twenty two. Dot AD. Dot one five six. Right. Was it the Kiddies DB website? Very well. Ah, it's just putting it in as links. When a network exposes a service to the internet, it also exposes its vulnerabilities. Exploits are developed in order to take advantage of these vulnerabilities. Allowing various advantages such as remote access for example. To exploit a vulnerability you need to know the service and the version of that targeted service in order to download the corresponding exploit. Then enter its name in the terminal. Download the exploit corresponding to the service and version displayed in the scan report. As it say, port state open S service SMB one one one. So we need SMB one one one. SMB Eternal one 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 You can check the inventory of your computer by using the command ls and ls in the folders.
that's a list somewhere. There we go. Infiltrate the tag of the network by using the exploit you just bought. Alright, so. On. 8122, 8156. Time to do with T, uh, TCP handler, generating payload. Once an exploit is used on a vulnerable service, you will be directly connected to the machine that holds the service. To search the contents of this machine, you need to use LS. Type ls folder name on the okay. Uh and it is on first contract. Is it on downloads? This brings back my uh, early computing days working with DOS. Well, early professional computing days. Get download flash first tracked. This contract. <clears throat> download, no, get, sorry. Get download first downloading and soon we'll have cracked this case. Eighty percent. When you download a file, it is created on your computer and renamed network IP address file type. In the current tutorial, the file is not renamed and remains first contract. Just to confuse you. Disconnect from the network using disconnect. Send the file to override by clicking the plus button on the Discord. Yes. Now, which one is it under? Are we on route? Okay. Ah. Okay. But it's highlighting it there. Congrats. Oh my God. You just hacked your first network. How does it feel? Now we are talking about real things, not some movie or video game fancy shit. But don't get me wrong, the network that you just hacked wasn't even secured. I almost forgot. I sent you a package down the street. Go pick it up and keep it in your apartment for me. And don't ask any questions. All right. All your deliveries will be made in the alley. You can travel at any time by walking the front door. All right, let's uh, exit the system. Will like me? Yep. 
Yes, I would like to go down the street to pick it up. Right now... I need to figure out, get out how to get out of the computer. Oh, F leave computer. Right up at the top there in small writing. F seems to be the interaction key. Let's take the call. You are now ready to go on your own. I talked to a few people. They will send you a message soon to give you some work. Good luck, hacker man. All right. There is a lot to remember, but don't worry. You can refer to the help section of the pause menu to view pop-ups like this again. You can also find a list of commands by using help command in the terminal. Ah, yes, of course you can. During your investigation, You'll discover several types of text files. Their contents can be displayed using the cat command, catalog, and here are different types of contents. Address, phone number, uh, social security number, and driver's license. All right. Complete your first two contracts. Use the cat command to display file content. Cat payment. Yeah. Um. Open the files pop up in the help section from the pause menu. See again what the different files are. All right. Well, right now we're going to terminate this, and we'll see if we can remember how to do this when we get back next time. So for now, I've been Silent Yogi. You've been a fine audience, and the Chihuahua has been keeping quiet. This has been Hacker Simulator. Farewell. Well.